Happy Wednesday, everybody. We are currently waiting for the internet man, like the guy to come and install our super fast internet that we're getting. And we're also waiting for our HelloFresh delivery. And I think we're gonna get a tripod that I ordered off Amazon today too. So there's like a lot of stuff happening, but it does mean that we have to stay home. Like that's, we're just here, hanging out, waiting on the couch. You guys, he's upstairs right now putting in the internet. It's happening. Can't wait, I'm so, I'm, I'm like way more excited than I should be, but I am so excited. The internet guy is here right now. <laughs> he's interneting. I just told them this. Oh, Jen just told I you did, guys I was this. like, he's here. Sorry, I didn't know that Jen told you that. I was dealing with the internet guy. I got so excited, I had to tell you. He's right outside that window. Should we peek out the window? No, I think we're so weird. We are pretty weird, he's over there now. I just realized that your note is here. Yeah, I wrote you a note. I write our note in the mornings sometimes and just do it to do that. So here's his note. Good morning, Mama. He also calls me Mama. Mama. I love you. Sing this to the tune of We Built This City. Okay. Um, we get new internet. Wait. We get new internet. We get new internet from four to six. I love you. I was thinking about your overtone. Can you put it in your hair dry? The stylist said your hair soaks up. <laughs> the first thing, this is going terribly. You guys remember when we were whispering because the internet guy was outside? He's inside now and we were singing. Yeah. I don't understand our thought process. We're totally cool with him now. He's my best friend. Yeah. Also, what is happening here? Oh yeah, we got some new internet and that is a really fast speed. Heck yeah. That is amazing. I can't believe how fast that is. Wait till I show you what it was before. Here's what it was before we started. Dang, dang, that's what it was yesterday compared to this today. Wow, that's ridiculous difference. So we got our next HelloFresh box and it's a little bit concerning because we got it on Wednesday, whereas we normally get it on Tuesday. And like, that's not cold anymore. This isn't cold anymore. They're not hot. This is cold and this is cold, but they're not they're not cold like they should be, right. like, like they were refrigerated and the ice was all melted and last time the ice was like totally frozen. See, I didn't think it was going to sit in a warehouse for an extra day. Right, I didn't Why? either. I don't understand because we got an email that said and they tweeted and like they told you that it was going to come later than normal because of the holiday, but why wouldn't they have sent it a day early? Right. Like rather than let it sit in a warehouse. I don't know, maybe we should contact them. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we should eat this. What do you think? I don't know. I it's mean, not, it's not like discolored. Right. And it's in a sealed package. Should we, do we like tempt fate and just eat it? Or what do we do? Cause we don't have groceries. That's the other thing. These are the only groceries, like dinner foods that we have. So what do we do? I'm willing to tempt fate. That's just me. <laughs> I mean, I guess I probably am too. If anything bad happens, we'll just, yeah. Do it? I don't know. Do we, we won't we, die. Gosh. We'll get sick. <laughs> what happens? And then we'll just cancel our subscription to HelloFresh. <laughs> oh, that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys. So I read on their message board because I was kind of like looking to see because I really like the service and I thought there's got to be like something bad, right? Like there has to be, it can't be perfect. So right. like, what's the bad thing? I guess a lot of people on the message boards were upset because when you sign up for the free are not free, like our little um, code that we have, which I'll leave in the description below if you guys wanna check it out, you can. If not, no worries. Um, with that code, you have to give them your credit card information because it is a subscription. So even if you get, because you're paying, you're paying for what, $59, I think, for the first box because you're getting $40 um, right. dollars off with the code. But they automatically sign you up for the subscription. So I, this may upset people. So I just wanted to go ahead and tell you, because I didn't think about it, because I figured we would probably have oh. it for like at least a month. But for people that just want to try it for the one week and then want to turn it off, you have to cancel by... Um, Wednesday at midnight. Wednesday at midnight. So there you go. So you're not being charged for the next week if you don't like it. Right. Um, so I did want to put that out there because that was like the main complaint on their website. So now you guys know. But now this is weird. So I don't know. I guess we'll tell you guys how it goes. Yeah, we'll tell you if we get sick or not. This is crazy though. Are they going to do this for every holiday? Yeah, I would imagine so. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. But here's what we got this week. And you guys may ask yourself, why am I willing to tempt fate? Because... 
This probably happens all the time with our food from the grocery store. Ooh, do you guys hear the storm? Some thunder. But this probably happens all the time with the stuff from the grocery store. We just don't see it. So like, it goes into the freezer section at the store and it's like, okay, it's in the freezer section. It came out cold, but maybe it didn't go into the freezer section cold? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we get sick. I don't think we will. This first one is a peach and prosciutto flatbread. So they actually sent us dough. We have to like make pizza, so that's cool. We got some arugula, fresh mozzarella, we got some prosciutto. This all looks really good. Um, and a peach. Yeah, and what's this stuff? Oh, this is balsamic vinegar. Oh. See, the good news is, is that this didn't like rise beyond recognition or like cook itself. It's the remix to ignition. Yeah. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Mama I'm a dough in that pizza. body. <laughs> oh, yours was better. <laughs> and the next meal is stuffed zucchini boats. So we have our zucchini, some Parmesan cheese, thyme, parsley. These both look uh, pretty rough, actually. They we're probably gonna have to make this tonight. We have some quinoa, shallot, garlic, vegetable stock. These tomatoes are super ripe, like soft, super soft. And then we also have some mushrooms. And again, these are like really ripe. They actually look a little bit slimy. <laughs> so we probably are gonna eat this tonight. The next meal is the grilled Moroccan chicken. So we got some couscous, harissa powder. I don't know what that is. Some cilantro, uh, carrots, ground cumin, onion, lemon, chicken, and some plain gourmet yogurt. This actually, um, it, it feels warm. Like, do you think that's okay? I think this is okay. It's not, not hot. It's no, like room but, temperature. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Why did they do that? The next meal is a chimichurri burger. So we have our ground beef, which is room temperature. So hopefully that's okay. Our brioche buns, these buns look awesome. We have some slaw mixture, which I'm guessing we're going to use this mayonnaise and the slaw. Got some cheese, Parmesan cheese, um, or some sort of mo maybe mozzarella cheese. Tomato, lemon, and avocado. The avocado, it seems like it's a really good ripeness where it's going to be ripe maybe tomorrow or the next day, so that's good. And some parsley and garlic. This one I'm excited about. The one thing that I, I have like a kind of big complaint, like I'll eat just about everything, but the boxes that these come in, because they get a little bit wet from the ice packs melting, they smell bad. Like the boxes smell like wet oh newspapers. No. Yeah. And I don't like it. Oh no. And last but not least, we have our zesty pork chop. So we've got our natural boneless pork loin chop, red onion, we have some honey, tomato, one ear of corn, lime, Italian parsley, kidney beans, some Cajun spice, and garlic. This one actually looked really good, so I hope that this being room temperature doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so I am starting to make the stuffed zucchini boats, and they're stuffed with mushroom, quinoa, and Parmesan cheese. So right now, I have taken my zucchinis and I have cut them in half, and I have uh, taken out the seedy part in the middle, so I'm gonna do that with this one right now. All right, I think that's as good as they're gonna get. So I'm going to start placing these down on my pan with a little drizzle of oil. I don't think this pan is big enough. Maybe it is, maybe, 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 yeah. Oh geez, oh my God. <laughs> I do that every time. I can never just put a little bit of oil on anything. Do you guys have that problem? Like what the heck, what the heck am I doing? I'm basically frying these now. I'm like deep frying these in the oven, great. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna give it a little sprinkle of salt and pepper. Put it in the oven at 450 degrees for 25 minutes. So while my zucchini is cooking in the oven, I'm going to bring a cup of water and my vegetable broth concentrate to a boil, and then I'm gonna add my quinoa. Um, I did bring this up to boiling, and I had to take it off the heat because it was like foaming, but I've added a half cup of white quinoa and I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer for 15 minutes. I also got quinoa all over my entire life just now. So yay, quinoa. So while the quinoa is cooking, I'm going to be prepping my mushrooms, which I've already diced most of them, but then I'll be mincing the shallot and the garlic. That's a lot of garlic. This is gonna be a good dish. I'm going to seed and finely dice the tomatoes, and I will finely dice the thyme. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So 
So while I'm prepping the vegetables, I have heated a tablespoon of butter and I added my shallots. Those need to cook for just a minute before everything else. Actually, I totally forgot to cut these up. I need to dice these, de-seed these. I gotta get these ready because these have to go in in like two minutes. So now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna dump in my mushrooms. I diced up my tomato. Sorry, I needed like more than one hand to do this so I didn't get to show you guys. We added thyme, cooked it for five to six minutes. And now we added the garlic, the minced garlic. Sorry, we didn't show you any of this. It was really hard. I feel like you need 10 hands for this one. But the, now it's gonna cook for 30 seconds or so. And then we add our cooked quinoa. Ooh, it's raining. Bandit's I'm so scared right now. But we add the cooked quinoa to the uh, stuffing mixture is what they call it. And now we stuff the zucchini boats with as much quinoa mixture as we can. Okay, and then you ser you're supposed to serve it like the leftover, cause it won't all fit. You serve that on the side. I've actually never had quinoa. So I didn't, I don't know if this is cooked properly because I don't really know what it's supposed to like, I don't know. So I hope it's good. And then we sprinkle it with some Parmesan cheese. Now we're gonna put these to broil to melt the cheese for just a few minutes at 500. One thing we noticed about this recipe is they sent us extra garlic. Like they sent us too much garlic. When I was telling you guys about it, I was like, ooh, it's a lot of garlic, it'll be good. Turns out they sent us enough for four people. Oh. So now we have extra garlic. I got in contact with HelloFresh through their online chat. And I said, hey, we're kind of concerned because our, like our box came kind of like room temperature. And they said, don't worry, we'll credit your account. So they gave us uh, back the amount for one box, one week's worth of food, which is fantastic. This is what it looks like on the plate with the additional stuffing there. What do you think? I don't know, it looks amazing. What are you watching? I'm watching Adam the Woo. Yeah. I'm watching his second channel, his daily vlog channel. <laughs> daily Cause nice. it's, it's really interesting to see him like traveling around the country. Yeah, for sure. It's like catching up with them every day. Well, that, not only that, but like there's it's like the most ridiculous looking things that I've ever seen in my life that he sees. Oh. Like just like roadside monuments. Check it out, eat your dinner, tell me what you think. Holy cow, that was some good food. Like that was really good. I don't think that I would have liked it if it didn't have the cheese on it, but it was delicious. It was very good food. So Jen just started uploading another video that we wanted to put up on the channel today. Same length as the one we put up earlier today. That one took 55 minutes to upload. This one is taking six minutes. <laughs> Yay, fast internet. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see me blinking, but I am tired and I fell asleep on the couch with my contacts in. So now my eyeballs hurt. So I am off to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.